Have you ever seen a passive radon system that looks like this? Well, hey, my name is Scott. I'm a radon mitigator in Virginia. I make videos for other radon mitigators, those looking to get in the business. If you're a homeowner, of course, you can stay and hang out. If you're looking for a radon mitigator, a good place to go would be www.nrsb.org. That's the National Radon Safety Board. Just go to that site, plug in your zip code, and that'll pull up a list of certified radon professionals in your area. So today, um, I'm talking about a, a really unique style of passive radon system. I don't see a lot of them, and I haven't had a lot of good luck activating them but uh, I think we've uh, struck gold here today. So this might help a lot of folks, uh, a lot of homeowners particularly, uh, you know, what the heck are these two two inch pipes running parallel to each other? What are they for? They, they don't, you know, to the, to the, you know, the layman's eye, it just looks like a part of, you know, their plumbing. So this is a real estate transaction and the home inspector identified these pipes um, as radon pipes and they come together in the attic and they connect into a three inch pipe and it goes out of the roof. And so, so far um, I've had success in putting a fan on it. And it seems to be uh, having a pretty decent draw right here. And I just wanted to share that with you. You know, be sure and comment if you've seen these or you know what their story is. Um, so my story is this neighborhood was developed somewhere around like, you know, 2003, 2007, something like that. And I've seen a couple of these and they haven't worked out for me to activate for one reason or another. And um, so we're having luck today and that's why I wanted to share it with you. And also, if you watch my videos, I talk about being nosy. And, you know, uh, when I go around looking in a basement, uh, you know, if a homeowner's with me, it kind of might strike them as weird that, you know, why am I going in that closet? Why am I going over here or over there? And I always tell them, I can't know enough about your house. And it's not some canned line, um, you know, it's, it's for real. And I'll tell you why. So, as you can see, this area is unfinished. Why would I need to poke around and look and stuff? Wait a minute, what is that? What is that? It's a fully finished a basement bathroom. And what does a fully finished basement bathroom have? It has tub showers. What do tub showers have? Well, they drain into the ground and then we have a big gaping hole that's gonna affect the suction of our newly activated system. So we're gonna seal that with, with uh, some expanding foam. No biggie, but we found it because we're, we're nosy. <laughs> it's all for the greater good of our customers. And uh, I hope that these tips will help you out. Okay, so I'll take you up to the attic and show you how things come together up here. In this zone. All right, so we've got the fan sitting on this three inch pipe, but right around here, you can see how those two two inch pipes tie into that. So I can only imagine to say, wind the pipe up through walls in some sort of way. But at any rate, I see a number of those in this neighborhood and here we are. So yeah, I like to label my fan switches, you know, like a, a seventh grader. Um, and you know, let folks know you should always be in that on position. And today we tie it together. We were lucky. We had this outlet to uh, to get our juice to run the fan. So that's all I've got for today. I hope you found the information helpful. If you did, by all means, smash that like button and consider subscribing. I drop lots of content for the radon community. It doesn't cost you a dime. It means the world to me. See you in the next video. Thank you.